Hey you, welcome to Connect. I'm Kirk, I'm super glad you're here. Merry Christmas, it's almost here. Would you love it if it were Christmas every day? I remember when the Connect HQ crew celebrated Christmas with one of my favorite things, a musical. Well, we have a point that we need to learn first. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. God gave the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. Great job. Well, speaking of musicals and singing, it's time for worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more about it. My favorite part of Connect is when we connect to God by singing Him a song. And you know my favorite season to sing to God? Christmas time! Christmas is all about the gift that God gave the world, His only son, Jesus. You know something that we could get Jesus for a Christmas present? We can sing and dance with all of our attention. So come on, get up and let's sing some Christmas songs together. Christmas, hey, hey. Christmas time is here. It's my 
silent night A star was shining bright Oh, little town of Bethlehem The angels sing Jesus, you
Ebenezer Scrooge needed an entire night and three ghosts to show him how to love people? I could have done it in an hour. <gasps> dot, dot, wake up. I'm awake. Is this real haze or dream haze? Connect HQ needs you, Dot. You must find three people who have low spirits and find a way to cheer them up. I can do it. You give me the Scrooges and I'll give you results. I just need one other thing. Name it. Music! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is my musical Christmas dream. Why so glum, chum? Tomorrow's Christmas. Shouldn't that make you excited? It does. But then after Christmas is a day that isn't Christmas. And then another day that isn't Christmas. There's a whole year full of days that aren't Christmas. Bums me out. Christmas is a great day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But it doesn't have to stop there. That was just the beginning. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. John. This is the story of Jesus. If you've ever heard it before, then you might think the story of Jesus begins long ago on a star filled night in the little village of Bethlehem. When Mary, his mother, gave birth to him in a stable. And that is a part of the story. But that wasn't really the beginning at all. Oh, you see, that was no ordinary night. And Jesus was no ordinary baby. To find the true beginning of the story of Jesus, we have to go back. All the way back to the beginning of history. To the very beginning of everything. When we do, we find out that Jesus was there and that he was very busy. Because long before he came into the world as a little baby, he was with God the Father in the very beginning. And he was about to accomplish some of his very best work. Creating absolutely everything. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus was the Word. Everything that was created received its life from Jesus, the Word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. Then God spoke and said, Let there be light. And those words brought life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness will never stop it. Jesus, who was the one true light, who gives light to everyone, came into the world. The Word, that's Jesus, became human and made his home among us. He came into the very world he created. He came so we would see God. He grew into a boy who grew into a man who died on the cross for our sins. He showed us what love looks like. He showed us what God looks like. 
And when we love him back, we become children of God. So we can live like him and love like him. And we can show the whole world what God looks like too. And that is the story of Jesus. Jesus was born to show the world how to live a life of love. And we can do that every day, even if it isn't a holiday. How? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, what's that music? And where is it coming from? This is a musical. But how did it know to start playing? Stop asking questions, go with it. When I wake up, the day is a gift that I can't wait to start. A new melody is waiting for me. I can hear it in my heart. If you wanted the sun but got showered, oh, if you needed the sweet but got soured, show the world that God changes our spirits when we choose to follow Jesus. Look for the musical moments in every day. Okay, let's sing another one. I really wish I could, but I've got other people to cheer up. Why so sad, lad? Because I know I'm not going to get what I want for Christmas. What did you ask for? Same thing I ask for every year. <sighs> A frog army. Tell me more! Well, it's exactly how it sounds. It's an entire army of frogs that'll do whatever I say. I mean, what do you get the guy who has everything? Frog army. Exactly, but I never get it. But. Christmas isn't a time to dream up better gifts than the best gift we already got. What do you get for the world who needs everything? Jesus. Exactly. God gave the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. Jesus was sent to earth to give me, to give everyone, an example of how to look and act like God, our heavenly dad. God sent the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. It's not bad to have a Christmas list. Just don't forget the most important part of this season. Thanks, Dot. So, what did you put on your list? I'm so glad you asked. I've edited my list to be a model of simplicity. Take a look, I think you'll see my list is just as short as me. All I really want is a bag of snakes, some funnel cakes, a disco ball, but that's not all. Feed a dolphin, drive a blimp, ride a seesaw with a chimp, a 
Okay, secret passageway, a unicorn on roller skates, surfing lessons, bumper cars, and some ninja throwing stars. A tire swing, some jelly beans, a cool tattoo, but I'm not through. Find a banjo, learn the banjo, teach a chimp to play the banjo. A boat that is unsinkable, a sock that is unstinkable, a flying squirrel, a time machine, an HQ needs a submarine. If you find it hard to get all my wishes, don't you sweat, I'll settle for a drum set. Well, that's detailed. Oh, what is this? Sounds like another person needs my help. Why so cross, boss? Do you mind explaining this? It's a gingerbread house. But what's it for? What's its purpose? It's a gingerbread house. Yes, I can see that. But do you have a permit to build it? Nope. That's a violation code 53-17. Do you have an icing permit? I took the test, but didn't pass. That's a violation code 2020-3. You seem more upset than usual. Come on. What's going on? Day after day, I find a mess, I issue a safety warning. And I've had it to about here. It's a lot of paperwork. I get it. Do you maybe want to sing about it? I'm so glad you asked. Let it all out, big guy. A 7-80, a 30-15. I'm being bummed daily by the troubles I've seen. Another day, another mess. It's taking its toll. I might be keeping you in line, but I'm losing control. I need some... on the ceiling, no songs that don't rhyme. Another day, another chance to show some compassion. I've been wearing out my catchphrase in an orderly fashion. For my estimation, all my irritations come from these violations. God, the safety code blue. What am I going Some heavy stuff. It's like everywhere I look, I see mistakes. What if I told you I've got a cure for your blues? I'd say tell me all about it. We can talk about someone who never made mistakes. Let's memorize this verse from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 2. It goes like this. Ephesians 5, 2. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love. Live a life filled with love. Following the example of Christ. Following the example of Christ. Jesus Christ came to earth and lived a life without mistakes so we could see a clear example of how we should live. Hmm. So next time I'm feeling the blues, I should just open up my Bible and spend some time with God. It could help. <laughs> Thanks, Dot. Hey, you mind if I keep the sunglasses? They make me feel kind of cool. Consider it my Christmas gift to you. Look at that. I helped three people and it hasn't even been an hour. Take that, Charles Dickens! Hmm. Now what? 
I guess I should wake myself up. But a musical can't end without a big full cast finale. Hit it! Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Live a life filled with love 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 When the world has got me down and feeling trampled You remind me that it's time to get up I can find our Christmas message. The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. Jesus showed us how to live a life of love. If we want to look like God, we should follow the example of Jesus and share his love. Jesus is God's son, and he's been there since the very beginning. Throughout time, Jesus has shown us how to live and love like God. Jesus died for us to make us right with God. Jesus is God's first Christmas gift to us. We can sing loud about the love that God shows us and show the world what Christmas is all about. Learning to live and love like God our Father will show others what God looks like, and they'll want to follow Jesus too. God gave the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. Merry Christmas, and remember, Connect HQ is here to wake up, Dot. Wake up, Dot. Wake up! Dot, it's time to decorate Christmas cookies. Whoa, what day is it? Did I sleep through Christmas? Nope, it's still Christmas Eve. You were talking in your sleep. It sounded like you were making a transmission. I was. I learned a lesson, and there was singing, and there was dancing, and it was wonderful. Well, it may not be a musical, but we could sing Christmas songs while we decorate our cookies. I would love that. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing God wants us to look like him by living a life showing God's love to everybody. Jesus gives us an example of how to live a life like that. If you've never decided to follow Jesus, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. 
If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group Leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you want to know more about that, I want you to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today. Okay, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it. I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. Great job. Okay, we're gonna stack that verse. So I need you to get something to stack with. Maybe it's blocks. Maybe it's uh, plastic cups, marshmallows, coins, rolls of toilet paper, spoons, whatever you got on hand. You'll need about 13 of the same thing. I've got some cups right here. Take turns in your family saying a word in the verse. Each word you say, you add an object to the stack. If the stack falls when it's your turn, start over at the beginning. Keep playing until your family can say the words of the verse in order and complete the stack. So pause the video and start stacking. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a Did you finish stacking? Well, that verse reminds us to do the one thing that makes us look most like God, our Heavenly Father love others. Now we have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me in Connect today, and we will see you later.